hello 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 welcome one welcome all uh in this video we'll be taking a brief look at comprehension comprehension we'll look at list comprehension dictionary comprehension tuple comprehension and set comprehension we all know that these are data types data structures sorry data structures in Python. What is comprehension? Comprehension is actually to me it's a quick and easy way of doing things by cutting the normal pipe and the normal process of programming using the for loop, using the conditions. If you just put everything in a single line and you get your value. So let's get started. Now we we'll start with a list comprehension. Uh, we're giving a variable here. A and A we assign it to be the list of range 30, which gives us the values from 0 to 29. Now I'll make a list comprehension. I'll call this B is equal to I start my bracket in my list. What do I want? I'm using A as my condition. So for Air items, let me go items in A. Now, what do I want it in return? I want the items. I want the items. So, if I do this, it will return everything for me. But this time, I don't want it to return everything. I want to multiply each and every of the items. So, I want the items by two. If I do this, I find out that my B has changed my b has changed this i will have done using a for or using a, a using a for loop but i just did everything inside and it's faster let me take this again let me do another one using a condition uh, i have this as uh, let me do this as b1 i'll do this again remember i'm using a as my condition so for items in a what do i want i want it to return the items for me but with the condition if if a that is if item sorry if items is divisible by two if item is divisible by two which means true so what will it return to for me it will return what the odd values for me so B1, I have B1. I see my odd values. Very easy. So this is this comprehension. We can actually do double if a uh, double list comprehension, double comprehension in a list. But as time goes on, you will get to know that. So let's look at set comprehension. Set comprehension is the same thing as list compression, just that the difference between set and list always play which is the difference between set and list which is that the set returns what returns the unique value while list returns everything that is assigned to it so let's see something here i said this i want to do a set comprehension so let me do a dictionary comprehension let's see it's all to go I said this to be a dictionary. Remember that there's a difference between a dictionary and a set. A set does not have a key. Why a dictionary have a key and a value? So what I'm using A for items in A. So what do I want in a dictionary? I want a mapping of the items of the items go it will match to what to let me do this let me do a little mathematics to the length of a divided by divided by item by item so this is what we have 
okay because the first one is zero it cannot the first element in the list the first item in the list is zero so it there is a zero division by zero error so to do this i can simply put here item plus plus one division by zero i think okay 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 i think at least i have this item plus one good i have i see there was my board mass plane i see this this is my new dictionary zero being mapped to this that is 30 divided by one gives me 30 one 30 divided by two gives me 15 and it goes on that way so that is my dictionary what about set comprehension and here i just did a dictionary comprehension i can extend this by giving a condition if what if item is what if item divisible by two equals to one not equals to zero sorry not equal to zero and i see my c see yeah did you take note what is giving me one three five seven the odd numbers so you see in the first place where I did the list comparison, I just use this, which is a short form, but here I have to express it the normal way some programmers know about. So quickly, let's look at set comprehension. Set comprehension. Um, set comprehension goes the same way. I say V equals to, let me do this, but in set comprehension, I'm not going to for item in A, what do I want? I want A plus one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just do the same thing. I want the length of A divided by uh by item item plus one. Good. Yeah, I said D. Uh, it gives me this. I will check, I will show you the data type of everything, the type of all these things. You find the types that the types are okay. Let's rush to tuple. What about tuple comprehension? We we'll say okay, E. Yeah, we're going to make use of a tuple comprehension. Good. So I'll do this for actually. It should be a tuple. A for I think in A, then what do I want? I want I want A the items. I want the items, comma, the items square. The items square. So I've got my D, it gives me A, okay, it is a generator. Okay, and put the keyword here to pull to bring it out to pull. So I have my two pull. So class, we've seen that we can use comprehension in a very quick and easy way here you see the type of a type of a is a list the type of b is also a list i did the list comprehension then the type of c is a dictionary the type of e of b is what is a set and the type of e of e is a tuple so i've just showed us how can you uh dictionary 
comprehension, a set comprehension, a triple comprehension. We can do things faster to make our Python program very smart. So please, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do well by subscribing to this channel. Uh, on the screen, you will have links that you have a tab on the blog. Just do a favor, visit the blog, follow the instruction. You see the tags for week two. If you not see it at the top post, just search for it. Python tags for week week two, and you see it there. Please kindly subscribe to our blog and to this channel. Comment and like our posts and videos. Feel free share our posts and videos. Thank you very much for coming. This is Hamplus Technologies. We we'll place you first technologically. Thank you. Do have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.